first thing that I would tell a family uh, who's received an IBD diagnosis for their child, no matter what age, is to breathe. To make sure that the child and the family remember that this is a young person with lots of opportunities and lots of dreams that they have, and just because they have IBD doesn't mean that they can't achieve it. They have every reason to have so much hope. Science is moving forward so rapidly that in the short term and in the long term, we're going to learn so much that is going to change the way that we care for these patients. If you just understand um, what they're going through, what their immediate needs are. Beyond that, then we will start educating the patient and the parent. The more they know, the easier it is for us to be able to explain things. So doing their homework and having education, making sure that they have found the right place for their child, and also learning about the disease, and to go to reliable sources. I will often refer families to support groups through uh, various agencies outside of the hospital or within the hospital. I may also recommend individual or family counseling to help a patient who's on the younger end understand that they have an illness that is never going away, but that it doesn't need to define who they are. There are lots of resources out there that can help to support the patient, such as um, CAMPs that focus on pediatric inflammatory bowel disease in the adolescent period, so patients can find friends who have uh, similar disease um, and feel comfortable knowing that there are others that are out there like them. There are also scholarships or other funding opportunities that they might benefit from uh, that they didn't realize that they were eligible for, so that we help them give such information out. Our first and foremost goal is to make sure that they get back to where they were as their childhood and that they should not be afraid because we are going to take very good care of them.